Nicky, look, yeah. look up there, and there's there's uh, digits in seven of the eight innings that you guys swung the bat today. Yeah, we did a lot offensively, but, you know, I thought uh, Austin Strickland was just unbelievable today. Like, his like ability to come in and attack and respond, the double plays, the strikeouts, I thought he was absolutely phenomenal. And um, offensively, we did. We executed at a really high level. Um, when you think about bunts, doubles, triples, a homer, um, walks, HBPs, our guys did a really good job with that and, you know, against some really good arms. Like these arms these guys were throwing, it's an unbelievable team, as you guys know. So I was uh, proud of our guys. I thought Jackson Gray was uh, phenomenal. Jace, um, you know, Gilly got another RBI. Petrie was awesome. Waldy, Ruben, Devin, what, a, what an at-bat in the second. What an at-bat in the second. You know, got him for 48 pitches in that one inning, and I thought Devin's at-bat was one of the keys. James, his home run with two outs. I thought Grant. Obviously, a couple more RBIs, put balls in play, and you know, up and down the lineup, we got a lot of production from everybody in that lineup. So nine last year, you had you had Tennessee in. It's number one. Now you got number three, South Carolina. And what's it like this time of year? I mean, you're, you're taking down these top teams in the country. You know, the, our league is is the margin of victory is so small. It is so small, and um, this team, you know, we've been able to be in every series we've had a chance even when you look up you know we're a, a pitch or a play or an at-bat away from being in every series and really that's this league you know when you look up and down and um, our guys have defended our home turf really well it's good to be in front of our home crowd and our fans and um, but the guys have rose to the occasion and it's been fun to watch Coach, you talk about the production let's talk about those middle innings all together in the middle innings. Yeah, you know, every time you get a chance to push a run across, you got to do it. And um, we did it in a lot of different ways. That was the thing I was most proud of, whether it be a hit and run, a stolen base. There was just a lot of different ways we were able to score and push runs across. And you guys know this. You can never underestimate the points of a run, you know. And anytime we got a chance to just push one more across, the guys got it done. Scored nine runs with two outs today. Just what, does the approach change with two outs, or is it – Something different that you guys are doing? You know, I, I don't know. I know the, the Jace, I thought the triple was huge. You know, when um, Jackson, they walked Jackson and then Jay stepped up and got that. And I thought James McCoy with two strikes ended up hitting a, a home run there. And then, you know, Grant got in the middle of the field and we had some others. So, um, you know, their ability to just fight and compete and uh, put balls in play with two strikes was huge, huge. Coach, what would you say about all these fans? I mean, it's Derby weekend. They're here rooting you guys on, cheering you on. What do you say? To the you know, they, it lifts the guys. It, their heightened awareness and their focus, you know, um, they make a difference. And uh, so there is no derby tomorrow, right? They got any horses? <laughs> right. right. Okay, so like hopefully we get a bunch of people out here tomorrow to come support them because every person counts. When you look at these seats, every person counts. And uh, we have great fans, and they showed it, and I want, I want them to show up again tomorrow. Well, I'm going to ask a silly question, but i got to get your answer. I mean, it's before the season started, did you imagine you'd be in this position that you are in at this time of the year? Well, the thing I, I knew about our guys is they were really competitive and they have a desire to win that dominates. And Mr. Barnhart challenged every team in this department, including ours, to do everything they can for Kentucky. And uh, that's what this group has done. They've done everything they can. You see it in their selfless at-bats. You got a guy like Austin Strickland, who's an amazing pitcher, could start, but we put him in the game. Late, he takes us all the way home through actually more than our starter. We just have a bunch of selfless guys. We had a guy today attempt a bunt on his own. Didn't even have a bunt. We had a green hit, and he attempted a bunt. Like, it's a very selfless, selfless team. And, um, yeah, I could see it. How much more work do you think you guys have, or do you or feel satisfied with where you are right now? Well, you know, you know this, but every win matters, you know, whether it's the first SEC game or the 30th one. So there's still some work to do. Um, obviously, we've put ourselves in a decent position right now. But, you know, this team has done really good at going one at a time, one at a time. So big game tomorrow against a really good team. How so, does what Austin gave you set you up tomorrow with, with your arms? Yeah, it does. It does wonders, you know, to, to pitch you in a game and only use two arms. And Austin's done that, like his ability to attack and just give him the ball. He's like, he's so gifted. And... Um, He's super talented, but his ability to do that was obviously crucial today. Nick, you kind of alluded to this earlier, but they had a couple of new life situations where the foul pop drops in, they can't make the play, next pitch, wham. Check swing, no strike for Grant, next pitch, I mean, 
Is that kind of characteristic of this team? Yeah, you know, anytime you, you get an opportunity to take advantage of something, you know, you got to do it. And um, that happened today. And, um, you know, sometimes the calls and the breaks go your way and sometimes they don't, you know, but the guy's ability to capitalize and cash in was obviously crucial. And that showed with, you know, how many runs we scored with two outs. Yeah. Allow me to follow up. You feel like you guys are in postseason mode at this point? We're trying to just win tomorrow. You know, that's the thing I care about this team. It's like literally try to just win tomorrow and see where that goes. And at the end of the day, we'll look up and see where we're at. But uh, we put ourselves in a good position thus far, but still a lot of work to be done, a lot of games. I mean, we've still got seven league games to go. And um, you guys know this, but a lot can change in one weekend, you know, let alone one day. Yeah. Coach, last question for me, SEC top to bottom. Talk about SEC baseball, what that means to just the whole league and how good this league is. Yeah, you know, it's we're the greatest league in America for a reason. And I, I've been in it 17 years. And um, I can tell you from the time I got in till now, it just keeps getting better. And the margin of victory keeps getting smaller and smaller. And um, it just, just goes to show you, you know, even if you look at last weekend and the weekend before, the amount of sweeps, but how close those games are. You look up. Every weekend and every game, there's one and two run games. And you know what? As Dick just mentioned, it's a it's an at bat here, it's a play here, it's a break here, and you know, you're looking at something totally different. But this league's the greatest league in America. It goes to show for all the national championships and wins. And I mean, I keep saying, if you go back to last year, Ole Miss is the last team in our league. In they're in ninth place. Some say they're one of the last teams in the tournament, and they win the national championship. Like what other? What other sport, what other league? I mean, they're all really good, but the ninth place team wins the whole thing. Wins the national championship, the ninth place team, and that's what our 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 league is able to do, and it's really deep. And um, it's the best in America for a reason. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.